smoking is a health hazard, but coal, oil, and gas are far more deadly. The is unequivocal, and the medical voice against all fossil fuels is loud and getting louder. In August, doctors launched this report in Parliament House in Canberra, with the help from various members of Parliament, I might add, and I hope that. Fossil fuel use is the major driver of climate change, and climate change is the greatest health threat of our time. The greatest. Global heating causes illness and death in a multitude of ways. Extreme weather events, storms and floods, food and water scarcity, fires and smoke, altered patterns of disease, displacement, civil unrest and conflict. And heat itself is Australia's biggest killer as a natural disaster. Not just from heat stroke, no. It kills by exacerbating chronic medical conditions like cardiac and renal failure, chronic lung disease. And the very young and the very old and those working outside, those in rural and remote communities, they're on the front line of deaths from climate change. And as doctors, we are already seeing this. It's affecting our patients. GPs and emergency departments are seeing this already. And we're starting to list heat as a cause of death on death certificates for the very first time. And the forecast is that a billion people will die worldwide if warming is allowed to reach two degrees. In fact, it's estimated that one human being dies for every 1,000 tonnes of fossil fuels mined and burned. To give that some context, Whitehaven's Narrabri underground coal mine is approved to extract up to 11 million tonnes of coal per annum until 2031. That's 11,000 deaths per year. This mine's stage three expansion has just been approved. And this is just one of 12 coal mines owned by Whitehaven Coal. But aside from climate impact, coal is a highly polluting fossil fuel. Burning coal for electricity releases lethal air pollution as well as greenhouse gases. So fine particulates, nitrous dioxide and sulfur dioxide, heavy metals, and more people die of air pollution than die, from than die from smoking globally, over eight million per year. Because when we breathe, we inhale the pollution deep into our lungs. It crosses your blood, into your bloodstream, affecting your entire body, brain, heart, reproductive system. It causes asthma, chronic lung disease, black lung, lung cancer, heart attacks, strokes, dementia, kidney failure, and adversely affects our unborn children. And it travels a long way. Did you know that 18% of the fine particulates that we're breathing here in Sydney actually come from the coal-fired power stations in the Hunter Valley, 160 kilometers away? At every stage of extracting coal, transporting it, burning it, it causes health impacts. There's local air pollution around coal mines where coarse particles increase asthma and lung disease. Mining blast plumes release nitrogen dioxide, which is a potent respiratory irritant. Breathing blast fumes can result in immediate health impacts requiring hospitalization, as I saw in Bogabri when I visited their small hospital and spoke to their doctors who'd witnessed Transporting coal in uncovered trains releases yet more coal dust into the air, sometimes through built up areas. Coal furnaces generate coal ash waste, which contains heavy metals, making it an ongoing hazard to the environment and to health. And so, coal and all fuel, fossil fuels are a health hazard. At 1.3 degrees of global heating, we need to quit now. The urgency for action cannot be under overstated. And as doctors, we recommend an immediate ban on all expanding or new fossil fuel projects. For our health sake. Yay!